Hi guys and gals, Froggy here. I'm going to show you the procedure to program a new remote that you've got when you have one existing remote and a cut key um, in your possession. If you don't have at least one existing programmed remote with a cut key, then you have to do a different procedure, and I'm not going to get into that. So here's what it says in the owner's manual. I'm not going to read it all, but I'm going to just hold the camera here for a second so that you can pause if you want to and read this, and then I'm going to go through how you do it. I put a sticker on the old one um, because once you take the key out, <laughs> they're pretty close to identical. And by the way, that is an official uh, General Motors key fob that I bought. That plus the key, they sell them separately, is uh, about 150 bucks if you um, shop around for it. Um, I actually got this from a company called, uh, what was the name of it? Call Tag or Call Trag. And uh, uh, I want to say thanks to them. They didn't give them to me for free, so I'm just plugging them because they're a good company. They're on the Corvette forum. Uh, so there you go, Gene. Now, um, let's go to the procedure. The first thing you're going to do is take your key out of the fob and open the trunk. And I had to press down on the trunk and twist this uh, to open it. It's kind of tight, but anyway, it works. So now the trunk is open. Now, I'll get a little bit ahead here. This is inside the glove box. Is to the left to the left side of the glove box. There's this slot or opening, and that's where you're going to shove the new key fob that you want to program. And you kind of have to shove it in there pretty good. There's a couple of a uh, couple of dent, not dents, but. Um, a couple of bumps in there and I think what they do actually is depress the the lock and unlock keys at the same time they don't tell you that but I'm guessing that's what happens so I'm just showing you ahead of time that's where you're gonna shove the key fob the lock and unlock buttons are gonna be facing towards the right side of the car so lay your new key fob there and get ready then you're going to go back to the trunk and you're going to twist it five times. And on the DIC Driver Information Center, you're going to see a message that says ready for fob. Okay? Okay, so on my third try of turning the key five times, I got ready for fob. It says fob number three, but this is really going to be fob number two. So. I'm going to shove it in that slot. And you hear the little beep, I think you heard it, and it says ready for fob number four. And we're not, we're not going to do any more. So I'm going to take it out of the slot. You really had to shove it in there pretty hard. <clears throat> All right. And the final step is to sorry for this glare holy cow there the final step is to press the lock uh the unlock key the unlock key on the one you just programmed and that says it says that completes the process so i don't know we'll see Let me read let me read a little bit more here just to be sure well, one last thing after you finish with your last fob and then you press the unlock button on the fob it says press accessory mode so press the accessory uh, button on the dash and that would complete it uh, so now let's test it out I've got this one which does not say old so that's the new one so let's try lock 
Then it, the lights flashed. That indicates that it's locked. Unlock. Two buttons. Uh, two flashes, I'm sorry. It says it's unlocked. And let's try the trunk. And the trunk. So I'm not going to do the alarm. I'm not going to do the alarm thing. So, let's do the old one. Just to make sure. We got lock. We got unlock. And we got trunk. So, that was successful. So now we have programmed a new fob. The, somewhere along the line, the owner or the people who sold the car to me, they lost the other one, but now I've got two. First thing Froggy does if, when I get a new car, if it's only got one fob, I get another one, no matter how much it costs. So, and I know they're not cheap. But now I've just got to get the key cut, and I think that I, I've got a pretty good locksmith local, and I think I'm just going to get that done. So, I'm not going to put that on the video. Go to a locksmith and get the key cut. Anyway, give me a thumbs up or a like if this helps you out. Subscribe to my channel if you want more from Froggy. And you can put some comments down on my new C6Z06. I'm going to call it triple black. I used to say triple black meant a convertible with a black top, black interior, and black outside. But people have been calling these coupes triple black because they've got black inside, black outside, black rims. So, whatever. Anyway, see you later, you guys and gals. Have a great weekend. I hope this helps you out. Frog you out. Bye.